Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Insight Tech Talk. I'm Jeff Dodge, Director of Digital Innovation at Insight. We're sitting down today with Michael Chisnell, co-owner of Ignite Brewing and featured CXO for winter issue of the Insight Tech Journal. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Jeff. Pleasure so, Michael, we've been working... <laughs> Great. No, we always love doing these tech talks, particularly we can bring clients on to talk about our partnership together. Um, Insight and Ignite have been working together for many months pre-COVID on developing and deploying IoT tools that can help maximize your customer's experience, your customer's safety, uh, the maximizing the, the value and the, the uh, product that you produce. So really excited to actually talk with our, our publicly here and be able to share these stories with, uh, with the public. So Absolutely. Yeah. Questions I thought we could uh, jump into. Sure thing. Uh, so, you know, unlike most retailers, I'm really excited to have heard from you that uh, generally in food and beverage, it's been challenging throughout COVID and throughout this pandemic, but you've actually experienced growth during the pandemic, which is, I mean, just fantastic. What would you say has contributed to the success and how has technology played a role in that growth? Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of luck, a lot of late nights, and uh, a lot of uh, great partners and, and phenomenal team members is is the uh, uh, the answer to that question across the whole spectrum. Um, you know, we going back through kind of the history of our COVID journey, if you will. Um, you know, the first of the year we have family members that live in Vietnam and Italy and things of that nature, and um, getting boots on the ground experience from what's happening over. Seas. Um, being able to take that information um, during my day job, I serve as a chief investment officer for my firm. And, um, and, and so doing a lot of analysis and understanding what's going on in the market, what's going on in the global economy as a whole, we're able to thankfully get that feedback to say, this is, this is pretty significant. And the data is really kind of the, starting to build here. So um, we were able to really ramp up a lot of components um, specifically on inverting our business plan. We had a business plan where we were not going to hit the grocery stores until um, later on in uh, two, three, four years uh, with our canned products. Um, so getting packaging ramped up in 2020 um, and, and making a bunch of strategic plan pivots. So um, backing up to March, we were shut down by, by the governor. Uh, so, you know, no on-site, on-premise um, con consumption and having craft beer with community is what it's literally all about. Yeah. So coming and experiencing our brewery, our, our tap room and, and experiencing not only the product, but the conversation and the other customers and engagement really, really makes a lot of changes. So we've had to invert a lot of things. We had to make a ton of strategic pivots. Um, we... Uh, ramped up a website in 36 hours so that we could do wow. online delivery, home delivery, dialed in later that week. Um, a lot of big changes on just the daily experience. So we were shut down for a little over two months and yeah. getting engaged with how do we get back up and running? We doubled the size of our patio. So we were fortunate enough to have over 5,000 square feet of outdoor patio space. Oh, that's um, great. We were able to secure a bunch of ingredients and other things. But um, the one of the big plays and one of the big components was, how do we make this place safer for our guests? And uh, that's where the technology component and, and the engagement with uh, Insight came into play in a big way. So that's yeah, pretty amazing. Lots, lots of fun stuff. COVID curtains yeah. all over the place and barriers and, you know, uh, tons of uh, hand sanitizing training and, and all of the all of the like. Uh, so lots of fun stuff on that front. So uh, yeah, that that was a, kind of a big overview, if you will. But the big takeaway there was um, dialing into that connected platform with Insight uh, played a big role as we got fully opened back up. Um, it was really helpful. Well, it's just amazing to think, you know, you, you're closed for two months and, you know, we all are trying to take care of each other, our loved ones, but really the community at large. Um, so amazing to come back from two months of being legitimately closed and then being able to actually grow the business. That's just amazing, Michael, truly. Yeah, um, well, we, we've taken this pretty seriously and uh, we've put a lot of work behind it and our team has really helped out, uh, of course. But, um, you know, those those partnerships, uh, our partnership going back pre-COVID with, uh, with Insight is really helpful in being a good thought partner there, um, the, how we can try to continue to help prevent the, the spread of this disease. Um, can't control everything, but, uh, you know, certainly our partnership's been able to help influence some things. 
Yeah, it's, it's funny. So prior to 2020, I mean, I don't think most people think of a, of a brewery as being this mm-hmm. high tech mecca. But, uh, you know, I think the, the beauty of technology is when you don't really notice it, when it does sort of melt away, but it still facilitates those outcomes, that safety outcome. What, what did technology look like at the brewery at Ignite Brewing prior to 2020? What, what did your IT department look like? Uh, well, we're fortunate enough to have one of the team members who uh, lives his life as a software engineer, software architect. So um, we, we, have, uh, we have a very, very strong tech background on our team, thankfully. Uh, in addition to that, our ownership team, the six partners, uh, tech is a big component of our day jobs. And we have all in different ways, shapes and forms interfaced with the technology component. And one of my big components, one of my big challenges, I travel a, a ton for work in uh, not 2020. Um, <laughs> uh, right now we do Zoom calls, video calls, et cetera, right? Uh, Story of our lives, long. yeah. Um, so, I travel all day long and I'm going, you know, airport gate to airport gate. And if I can't run the business from my cell phone, I'm not doing something right is, is kind of a personal challenge to uh, our team members, uh, you know, and on the day job front and at the brewery and needing to be able to monitor how are things going in the tap room? How are things going in the brewing uh, area for production purposes? How are we, um, you know, how are we doing with books and records and things of that nature? Um, if I need to source something through Microsoft uh, SharePoint or whatever the case may be, I need to be able to access that through my cell phone. I'm not sitting in front of a laptop all the time or sitting in front of a, um, at a desk, right? Mm-hmm. So um, getting that insight is, is critical. And another component to that philosophy is um, what I fight all day long. So uh, we, we're all trying to battle scarcity. And Econ 101 tells you that the solution to scarcity is maximize resources and seek innovation. So we have to seek that innovation in order to get more out of our equipment, get more out of our team members and uh, create a better experience for everybody. So those are some of the big philosophical components that how do we run it from the cell phone and how do we maximize our resources? Um, and, and those were two big drivers to our IT philosophy. So IOT was already in play. We were um, already doing some things in uh and the, the monitoring of beverage coolers and things of that nature. And certainly, as we've discussed with, with your team, as we're bringing on the kitchen front, how do we monitor to make sure that we're staying in compliance on the food side? So uh, those items that have certain warming temperature ranges and things of that nature, it, you know, how do we make sure that we're not required to be on site, on property 24 hours a day in order to create that great experience and stay compliant? Um, so, and then of course, COVID comes along and, uh, we certainly go down the path of, uh, monitoring other things. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we're all hearing reports and I think everyone, the general consensus is that, you know, the pandemic COVID-19 is, is accelerated lots of changes, societal, but in technology as well, but the way that we conduct ourselves and obviously the, you know, the brewery was no different. Um, we've been working together as you touched on before and implementing insights connected platform to help with just some of those things. Exactly. You just said. Um, what were some of the biggest aha moments as we went through that process or to deploy those tools? You started to be able to access them on your phone, right? As you're wherever you might be, whether it's home and you transfer or whatever it might be. What were some of the biggest aha moments for you? Uh, a couple of them. Uh, apparently, uh, baseball hats can get pretty hot. Um, so, you know, baseball hats sitting in the sun and as customers are coming up front and ordering and things of that nature, um, seeing seeing those false positives. Um, the you know the table sitting in the background and how we need to make sure that we're positioning for these uh, thermal imaging cameras and things of that nature to uh, to work most effectively. Um, and then, frankly, one of the biggest ahas was the question from customers as we started to discuss and, and introduce that you know, hey, some of our closest customers, you know, we're getting feedback on this is one of the only places we go to and that's a great deal of weight on our shoulders. When someone tells you that this is the only place that they're leaving their own kind of isolation is to come down to a night brewing company and, and have a beverage because we're following the compliance, we're, we're all the guidelines and making sure everything's spaced out and the tables are outside and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a long time customer. Um, we want to make sure that they continue to feel safe. Also, you know, so let's introduce them to the fact that we have this thermal imaging camera that's able to help, uh, quietly, privately, uh, you know, monitor temperatures to detect any issues that exist there. 
so you're doing that cautiously because you know maybe people don't feel great about that. The biggest aha was so many people were asking the question, why aren't more people doing this? How come this isn't in our schools? How come this isn't at, at you know major universities or grocery stores or uh, other retailers? Why aren't the malls doing this? Um, when we're putting this up and you're coming up to order your beer and getting your temperature read and uh, confirming that it's you know we're comfortable to be out in public for one of the many potential warning signs, um, it just enhanced our customers' confidence that we were taking this serious with uh, with barriers and all the physical things that you could visibly see, but very quietly and in the background, making sure that our guests are are well healthy and and, and all those things. Um, and so. From that, an, another aha moment, if you will, would would be, and this is, you know, not to puff up your your team, but you guys did a phenomenal job on the rollout. Um, the fact that we were able to Microsoft Teams and sweep the cameras around and show you guys where things are positioned and where we're thinking, and you're able to get visible um, understanding of of the environment that this camera technology is coming to be installed in, um, yeah, and then boots on the ground, execute, deploy. You guys did a phenomenal job. So um, yeah, wasn't sure what it was going to take to get this done. And you guys exceeded any and all expectations there. So thank you. Well, thank you for that. Um, it is interesting. You, know, you touched on the thermal camera use case. And uh, you, know, you talked about customers saying, this is the only place I go. It really is about trust, right? So mm -hmm. you, you've earned their trust prior, and now you're continuing to earn it by deploying these sorts of tools. I think that's just amazing. And we hear that many clients are starting to roll these out. So we're starting to see them more and more but the thermal cameras being able to sense for that temperature, one of many symptoms of, of uh, infection. Um, and then we've talked a little bit about being able to monitor the, the, the temperature in the back room and in, in sort of in the brewing station, the brewing area. Um, mm -hmm. So we're really excited to have multiple use cases deployed with you now. I think that's been one of the most exciting things for us is to work through various use cases, both that are pandemic related, but just normal operations related. That's been really interesting as well. Yeah. Everyone um, prefers the normal operations, that's for sure. Oh man, you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I, I'm aware that you guys are, are, are just, you just enjoyed your second anniversary in September. So when you think about even more broadly, you know, thinking about tent sensing, like you said, you need to know what's happening in the brewery, not just related to the pandemic, but normal course of operations. Absolutely. Um, any lessons you wanna share over the last two years in business for other small and commercial business owners? Um, as always, make sure that the, make sure that the team is aware of the numbers, um, document, monitor, uh, be wise, seek good counsel. Um, those are critical, critical components. Um, you're, you, you're invested in the long game. So, um, making sure that you're making the right decisions and those right decisions have to include making sure that your team is well aware of their explicit roles and responsibilities. How can your team, um, you know, the, the old saying of right, right seats and, and the right bus. Yeah. Um, you know, you want to want to make sure your team members are in the right spots and they know exactly what they're supposed to get done. Um, do not in any way, shape or form expect to, to accomplish it all yourself. Um, if, if you have that clear vision of that future objective that you're trying to accomplish, um, your team comes right along uh, quite nicely. And um, actually your team not doesn't, your team doesn't come along, your team pushes you to continually grind and push hard to, to achieve those long-term goals and objectives. So um, your team's invested and they want success here. So um, they wanna see the, the entity thrive. And so making sure that you're spending the right time with your people, um, it pays dividends you'll, you'll, you won't understand until well into the future. So um, we're grateful, we're grateful for our team for sure. And um, the ownership of the team and making sure that our entity continues to deliver phenomenal experiences day in and day out, um, both on the manufacturing front as well as on the uh, customer engagement front, it's it's fantastic. And um, they make us better, uh, it, hands down. So uh, certainly make sure that you're doing that. Make sure that uh, you're maximizing those resources, of course, and seek that innovation. Um, leverage the tools and technologies that exist. Those are much better. more. It really is all about team. Totally agree. Rings 100% true for me as well. Um, and that's why it's great to have great partners like you. I, I think Insights made a real point uh, over the last 30 years in business of being that sort of holistic, like one-stop IoT partner, or but technology partner, right? You touched on our ability to deploy. We we're really pleased to partner with you to be able to bring all of those to bear. When you think about um, you know, the future of, of Ignite Brewing, what do you see as technology in terms of playing a role in your business in the future? 
Uh, more and more. It's there's there are so many data points to monitor. There are so many items with yeah, how how can we turn a higher quality uh, product faster? Um, you know, and so tank monitoring and uh, you know if, if we're if we're on the dream board if we're able to monitor you know what's the what is the current temperature of the fermenter but not only that where are we at in the fermentation cycle and then trip over to uh, automatically controlling to turn on um, a cold cycle so that we we start dropping dropping yeast and dropping into that next phase there's so many cool components there and then there's different CO2 monitoring uh, that that can happen. Uh, both in our cold room where our beer is stored, but also uh, through and near the fermentation uh, vessels themselves. So there are so many data points and so many items that uh, the more we have that access and information, the more that we have good inventory controls, the, the better we can play like, like the big guys, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. And the only way that we, uh, an entity our size, can uh, continue to compete and identify those uh, profit opportunities down the road is to uh, play bigger than we are today uh, from the standpoint of, look, we're doing inventory controls, we're doing ingredient monitoring, we're doing costing analysis and modeling of that nature. Um, we can get to a, a better a better margin, we can get to a better product and, um, you know, again, can continue to, to push upstream and then, in the kitchen front doing better monitoring of of all of our ingredients and things of that nature so there, there's a there's a wide variety of use cases and things that uh, the iot components can help us from an inventory capturing monitoring improving a costing analysis we expected to use those many pounds of grains or hops or whatever um, having that data at our fingertips allows us to uh, to negotiate better contracts in the years ahead so well, we're obviously excited to keep partnering with you. You know, the connected platform was designed so that it could be rapidly deployed and then continue to extend into all those use cases you just described. Um, when you think about 2021, are there any goals or uh, resolutions you want to share with our viewers? Uh, my goal is to stop wearing my mask every time I'm out in public. But uh, only, you know, society will, uh, society's well-being will navigate that objective. Um, our, our team continuing to get better with with the tools and resources we have. Um, continuing to push up market, um, getting into uh, more retailers is become a, a new goal for us so that we can deliver our product to where the consumer is, uh, most conveniently shopping. Uh, that's certainly one of the big objectives. And um, how, how, do we, how do we continue to enhance the safety and most importantly, the experience of our guests? Uh, getting beyond 2021, just getting beyond the COVID experience, how do we continue to leverage the technology we have to create a good experience. You know, the thermal imaging with flu season can e even help and prevent and, and detect and prevent that item. So, you know, there, there's so many other use cases that exist. How do we make sure that we have a healthy experience for our guests, but um, uh, enhance that experience in total? I think a lot of us share those goals. So hopefully if, if it matters that everyone has aligned goals, well, hopefully we'll be successful. Michael, thank you so much for your time today. Ignite Brewing is a trailblazer in technology and in the industry. I can't see, wait to see what happens in 2021. And in particular, I can't wait to share a cold one with you in person as soon as possible. Amen. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Have a great one. You too.